In a galaxy far, far away, there's not many more things more loyal than a droid. This, from Walt Disney World's Droid Depot, an astromech droid. <laughs> Greetings and salutations during this wondrous holiday season. I hope you are having a safe and healthy time with you and yours. And here we have something that will, I think, be very near and dear to my heart as I look to pare down much of what's in my collection. Uh, this will be one of the last things to go because it was an experience I was able to share with my young little one young Mr. Little Mr. Toys with Algernon. There you see the remote control. As this is an astromech droid, you built off an assembly line in the droid depot at Walt Disney World's and Disneyland's Galaxy's Edge. It has the classic uh, posable uh, treads and wheels for the classic astromech pose. The head turns and moves just like it does in the films. Uh, the astromech droid, R2-D2. Confession, my favorite Star Wars character. It's always been my favorite Star Wars character. As you can see here, it moves about just like R2-D2 did. And it... Oh, my goodness! Jarowick, you... Be careful there, chap. He's got a bit of speed to him, too. He does move rather quickly. Just listen. All the classic sounds... He sounds just as though he rolled right off the screen and into your living room, but pay close attention to that open hatch. There you see some accessories that can be purchased. We'll get to those two rocket uh, propulsion units later. I want to single out this canister which holds a personality chip. It changes the droid's personality and sounds for your astromech can be picked up at the droid depot. We chose a friendly one. You opened the hatch as was depicted earlier and insert it there, you see. As Jarawick got a bit of ahead of himself, but let's go ahead and look. Uh, this for fourteen ninety nine. I, I, you'll see, it's, I think, quite a bargain. It's something I would recommend if you get a chance to go and uh, experience this at Walt Disney World. I think you'll enjoy it. Uh, it, this is wonderful, a wonderful little addition to customize your droid, even its personality. And you'll hear the difference here in a moment. Oh, yes. Oh, yes. I do think they should like and subscribe, but, you know, I think just meeting you is reward enough. R2-Z3 is what we named our droid, my young little one. He's only five, but he enjoys this so very much. Using the remote control and playing with your R2 unit, your astromech droid. I can't describe how much fun it is. It just... When he looks... When he's rolling around on the floor, he just... He moves so much like the actual on-screen unit. The way it turns, the way his head moves, this rate of speed at which his head moves. Uh, it's just... It, everything about it feels so right. Yes, I'm talking about you, R2-Z3. We're very pleased with you. Uh, be careful, though, R2-Z3. We're going to demonstrate how your uh, your dome, your cranium, comes off and attaches. Now, obviously, the the uh, torso and the legs and the, and the third tread all come separately, and you assemble them as they come down an assembly line. In confession, we were trying to uh, assemble an R2-D2 replica, but uh, the parts for that were not available when we were there. However, 
I'm very pleased with uh, what we created, my little one and I. And uh, when you go in, you have the option to... I believe this is included with this knapsack that you can carry your R2 unit in. And, and when you build it, one of the great things that I'm, I'm unable to demonstrate here, but you walk around the Galaxy's Edge Park, and you'll see here in a minute, you'll have a little uh, unzippable window. The droid interacts with portions of the park. It'll alert you if stormtroopers are approaching. It'll, uh, con it, it'll, it'll communicate with some of the other droids around the park, and you'll see here in a moment, uh, when you can put him on your backpack, carry him here around, and you can still uh, see him visually. Yes, go ahead, Jorowick. Uh, uh, fasten the top of the knapsack. Now open that window that's right in front. Thank you, chap. Well done. Yes, you see there? He's there, nice and snug. Uh, yes. Oh, yes. You are very, very snug indeed, aren't you, R2-Z3? Oh, I just... My, my, my little one is... He's so fascinated by this, and he loves it so much. Uh, I, I... We both... We did... Because, uh, as you've noticed, uh, if you have watched my videos, I'm a very big Star Wars fan, so we couldn't, I saved up rather, for, well, going through the pandemic, we didn't go for two years, so I was able to save up quite a bit of money, uh, and we did the lightsaber experience as well, but I have to say, I, I preferred this, I thought it was, uh, you're getting a little more, I think, with this R2 unit, and now we're going to demonstrate taking off the side panels of the legs and inter inter insert the rocket propulsion units. I'll show you a press of a button on the remote. It's, it's quite cool. I'm going to turn off the lights here so you can get a better depiction of how cool this is. Oh, there you have it. Yes, very right. Oh, R2-Z3. I, I, I do love you so much. I'm glad you are now part of our family and as loyal as a golden retriever, as loyal as the family dog. Uh, here you're going to see uh, some of the artifacts that were inside the droid depot. I wanted to be careful taking too many pictures, but uh, these are very, very cool. I, I enjoyed looking at these. I think they're from the Lucasfilm archives. Uh, some of them are, in fact. You see droids from this. Oh, gosh. This is when R2-Z3 was activated for the first time. Oh, what a joy. If you enjoyed this uh, feature, please, uh, there's much more Star Wars available on my channel. It won't always be Star Wars, but... The last two holiday seasons, as I associate Star Wars with the holiday season, given the kind of toys I got at Christmas, I've always in associated Star Wars with the, the holiday season. Any holidays, in, in fact. Uh, check out the Kenner Death Star playset from earlier this year, or the Kenner Dagobah playset. Also last year, we did the Star Wars Kenner's Micro Collection. All right, happy holidays all. I hope you enjoyed the season, and I hope to see you uh, and prepare more wonders and artifacts of joy for you in this new year. Ta-ta for now.